Hey everyone, this is a Martin Staunton video Facebook update. Now you may be wondering, why are you standing outside the Oak Hill Hometown Pharmacy now open? And um, yesterday you were at Tudor's Optical in Crab Orchard. Well, I'm in Oak Hill today because this is a surprise visit. Some friends of mine have just opened this pharmacy here in Oak Hill in the East End. I think it's the Fountain Shopping Plaza. You know where Penny Fair used to be. It's food land now. But um, anyway, um, you know, they've opened this pharmacy and it's a dear, dear old friend. It goes back to my Upward Bound days. And so, and so I'm going to surprise them <laughs> with a visit. And um, I wanted to introduce all my friends here in Oak Hill to um, my friends that are opening this, this pharmacy here. Let's go inside. Now this is the inside of the Oak Hill Hometown Pharmacy, and you can see it's a startup. It's a startup, you know? But they're here to help people. Let's go here in the back. Hey, Martin. Hey, I didn't tell you that my friend's name is Martin. This is Martin Njoku. Hey, Martin, say hi to my Facebook friends. Hello. How's everybody out there doing? <laughs> oh, man, I hope that they're doing good. Hey, what, what, what prompted you to pick Oak Hill to um, open your pharmacy? Well, uh, when I first came to West Virginia, I spent a little time here in Oak Hill, West Virginia, and we moved to Beckley, but Oak Hill has always been in my mind, you know, Last four years, uh, uh, right, it brought me back to Kill, where I met a lot of people, met friends. Then after three years, I moved back to Beckley to work for Access Health. But my heart is still here in Kill, West Virginia. So when I started looking for a location, and we looked at all the areas, you know, we picked this place because of the location, because of uh, uh, closeness to a lot of my old friends, you know. And uh, my wife and I. Hey, you know what? Let, let, let me stop you for a second okay. because I'm getting a glare on your sunglasses. Stand right over here. Okay. There we go. Okay. There, there we go. That's much better. Okay. So you picked Oak Hill. So now you say when you moved to West Virginia, yes. where are you from? I'm originally from West Africa, Nigeria, and I spent a great deal of time in Oklahoma. And of course, Oklahoma. And of course, I cheer for the Oklahoma Sooners. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, Man, you're uh, a mountaineer territory. Uh, you're a mountaineer <laughs> territory. I'm, I'm gonna give you a second take. You're supposed <laughs> to say, "I cheer for Oklahoma," but my heart's with the Mountaineers, right? <laughs> right? Right? I right? I think my friends in Oklahoma would shoot me for that. But, okay, you know, no, no, I dude, still, I don't want you to abandon your team. I still, you, love, I still love West Virginia. In my yeah, mind, you stay with those Sooners. <laughs> you stay with those Sooners. Better hope they don't meet us on the battlefield, <laughs> and it's the Mountaineers versus Oklahoma, because you know we done beat them before. <laughs> Oh yeah, I know, I know. I've cried numerous times. Uh -huh. you know? So, so, so let's so let's talk a little bit more about your pharmacy, if if we can. Um, how confusing is it, you know, managing prescriptions today? And I use the word managing prescriptions because, as a person, as you know, you know, you're, you're fully aware of my health problems. Yeah. You know, at one time, Martin, you know, I had was taking 28 different pills a day. How tough? You have to manage that, right? That's exactly that's exactly right. You know, and here is where I think you know. You know, I tell people like, you know, pick a pharmacy and pick a pharmacy that can help you with all your medication needs, you know, because here's, you know, what people don't understand. When you take more than one prescription, you know, and you are liable to have a lot of problems, you know, and when you add more and more and more up to 10, 20 prescriptions, you know, that's where we step in, you know, and we work with you and tell you which one works against which one, you know, which one not to take with this, you know, and what time of the day to take it, you know. And we even work with your doctors, you know, even though sometimes they don't like it, you know, we can streamline this prescription, you know, bring it to a manageable number of prescriptions where you don't have to feel like you're taking a whole lot of medication because sometimes, you know, Doctors don't talk to each other about medication, you know. You, and amen, brother. Can I say that again? Hey, y'all out there, <laughs> let's get it. Let's get an amen to that. Like I said, I'm not kidding. At one time, I was taking 28 pills a day. Yes, and just for the fact that you know, when you leave the hospital, and sometimes you know, hospital don't communicate with us, you know. That's why we step in, you know. We make that personal call to the hospital, and we get everything straightened up, you know. Make sure that you know you go home with the right medication and you're taking the right amount, you know. And we want to see, you know, that you're getting better, not getting worse, you know. And sometimes people don't look at us, you know, like you know, as a resource. Yes, we are here, in you know, especially me here in Oki Hometown Farms, you know. I can spend spend any amount of time with you. You know, don't have to worry about somebody else, you know, telling me, oh, you're spending too much time with you. I can even make a personal call to your home, you know, and, you know, go through your medicine for seniors, you know, who are having problems with their medicine. I can come to your house, you know, 
no charge, nothing, you know, I just come there and help you sort out the medication, make sure that your medication is taken correctly, you know, because my goal is to make sure that you get well, you know, with your medication. Right. Hey, you got a customer. I'm going to get out of the way. And you know what? I want to run back here and say hi to Martin's wife. Now, see, that's how I met Martin, because Martin's wife is a childhood friend of my own dearly departed, beloved Teresa. I mean, this lady, Margaret Njoku, she's Margaret Wright Njoku, um, grew up with Teresa. And um, I met her before I'm five years before I met Teresa at Upward Bound. And so Margaret and I were really good friends. And so when we, Teresa and I got together, it was a, a surprise to Margaret that, well, how do y'all know each other? And, you know, we just happened to meet. And um, B, that, you know, we'd known each other for so long. And then, you know, she met Martin. He's a wonderful guy. And, you know, I'm fortunate enough to know someone who's married to a pharmacist who could help me manage all of the prescriptions I was taking at one time and you know I was able to consult with him and everybody doesn't have that so you know they um have you know all my support and blessings for their venture here let's go say hi to Margaret we're walking in the back here going through the door you know this used to be the um laundromat we're gonna peek in now, I'm gonna tell you before I go through this door that Margaret is shy and she's not gonna want to talk a whole lot because she never has wanted to talk a whole lot hey Margaret Hey, how you doing? All right, how are you? Hey, I just did a great interview with your husband. <laughs> he was good. He loves interviews. Well, he <laughs> was excellent. He was excellent. So, you know, I'm going to ask you a question real quick about me and Teresa. I've already explained to them that you guys were childhood friends and that you and I met five years before I ever met Teresa. How surprised were you when we became a couple? <laughs> Very. <laughs> what was surprising about that? Um, day and night. <laughs> day and we were so different, right? Uh, yes. We were so different. Yes. And now over these last twenty six years though, you have seen my wife come out of a shell oh, though, yeah. right? Oh yeah, you brought her out. Yeah, Leave I brought tomorrow. her up. Leave it to Martin. Leave it to Martin. <laughs> so, um how are things? How excited are you about very, um the new business? Very excited, very excited. Martin is at home. Finally. Finally at home. Finally at home. Now it makes sense. The hometown pharmacy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Duh, Martin. So one more question. Now we talked about that there's gonna be a giveaway, right? Yes. So how cool is this gift basket? Very cool. I'm still working on this humongous, fantastic, one of a kind gift basket. And how do people get registered for the gift basket? Um like us on Facebook and you'll be inter to register to win this fantastic gift basket. Awesome. Which details will come soon to come. I'm working on it now. Absolutely. Right. Oh, I see. I see you. Uh, well, well, no. Let me not zoom in. Yeah. You could be paying bills, girl. I don't want to give away. I don't want to give no personal information. But um, oh thank you God. so much for having me and, and and accommodating me for this surprise oh, visit. Keep coming. All right. I will. Right. I will. Love you too. Right. So. That's their business. They're off and running. They're going to do a grand opening. Um, that's Friday, Margaret. Right. Friday, November the 30th from 9 o'clock, and um, I'm going to come out and support my friend. I hope that you might come out and just say hi, and what I'm going to do also is I'm going to cook three cobblers, a blackberry, an apple, and a peach. Now, they're not going to last for everybody, but for those who get out in time to taste some, I totally invite you to come out and um, join us. That's next Friday, November 30th here. Hometown Pharmacy in the um, Fountain Plaza Shopping Center in East Main Street, Oak Hill. And, um, you know, the girls are doing fine. In fact, they're indulging me right now. I'm going to show you a sneak peek at them. Girls, can you say hi? Okay. Hey. hey. And uh, Mimi is buried once again in her cell phone. And that's okay because that's what teenagers do these days. If you have one, then you know they do that. Oh, wait a minute. They do that. Music, cell phone, texting. I love them, though. I think they're so pretty. they pretty. Look, I'm going to show them to you again. They are so beautiful. Mimi, why are you hiding your pretty face, honey? You know you're pretty. If I wasn't so big and bad, the boys would really be calling. But I can be bad. But I won't be bad. I'm going to wrap this up. Remember, Hometown Pharmacy next Friday. Um, I'm going to um, be out and about and definitely want to say hi to thank you for all the love, prayers, and support that you've shown me. And let me see. I hope I get them in the picture. Me and my girls. We love you, and we hope you have a happy, happy Thanksgiving.